Okay, we're going to be talking about our half GPMs, our one GPM, and our two GPM. When you get the package and get your pump out of the box, on this side that says open this panel for maintenance, take all the screws out of this panel. Some of your parts and your filter is going to be inside. You can always take a knife and stick in right here by the black corner and pry that out. This will be your filter system here. This is your oil cap. You need to change that. Take a crescent wrench and take this red plug out of here and install this yellow cap. If you don't, this red cap is not vented, the yellow one is. If you don't change it, you could burn the pump up. We're going to tell you what all comes in your the kit with your half, one and two gallon. Special order, you can order these sections of stainless steel tubing. That's, like I said, special order. Kit will come with your tubing, your filter kit, your misting tees, clamps, and this bag here, it has in it a drain valve. It has one end plug that will go into the end of your system. It has two extra 0.006 nozzles. It has two blank nozzles in case you have an area that you don't want to uh, decide like over top of your barbecue pit or something where you do not want the water coming out anymore. Then you'll just take the nozzles out and uh, install those plugs. And it also comes with a tube cutter. We're going to tell you how to install your system. You want to cut your tubing into two or three foot sections. We recommend that you don't go under two foot. You may, you may get more water than what you want. And if you go over three foot, you may, you may not get the coverage that you desire. But what you do is you take your misting tees and this this principle works the same on the stainless steel you simply push these on till they won't go in any farther you continue with your next piece and so on and when you get to the end of the line this is going to be your plug. It'll plug into here, but we recommend that you don't put that in yet because you'll have to take it back out to flush the system out. Your clamps simply go over the tubing and put your screw in that hole. And we recommend that you stay an inch and a half to two inches away from the fitting so it doesn't put pressure on the tubing. Then at the very first nozzle that you install you will be running a, a tube from here all the way to your pump. We're going to be telling you how to hook up your 1500 psi half gallon per minute the one gallon and the two gallon they're all the same what you'll do is take your feed line here this will connect to your water spigot this other end will go into the inlet fitting on your filter just push it in until it won't push in any farther 
this bracket will hang right here like so then you'll take your 16 inch piece put it into the outlet on the filter then you'll turn your water on and watch the end when you have nothing but water coming out there's no more air you can go ahead and plug that in to your inlet feeding on your pump then you take your power supply remove this white cap plug this into your wall receptacle turn your water back on hit the toggle switch on the opposite side of your pump put it in the up position works just like a light switch up is on down is off turn it on and watch your outlet fitting on the pump when you have solid water coming out no more air you can turn the pump off from your very first nozzle closest to the pump you'll run a feed line from that all the way to the outlet fitting on the pump push that in till it won't go in any farther if you've already installed your end plug in the very end of your line at the last nozzle you'll need to remove that make sure your water is still on then you turn your pump on blow all the air out of the your misting line and there's no more air and it's solid water put your end plug back in push it in completely turn your pump on you're ready to go we're going to be showing you how to winterize your 1500 psi misting pump this includes half gallon one gallon and two gallons you'll start by turning your water off disconnect this from your water spigot disconnect it from your filter housing once again we sell these tools at misscooling.com you just push this ring in you can use a crescent wrench if you have to but you push this in while pulling out on the tube drain all your water out of your feed line disconnect this other end from the inlet on the pump unscrew your filter housing dump the water out change your filter if it's dirty put your housing back together you can hang it back here on the pump then you will take compressed air either using an air compressor and something like this or you can buy small cans of compressed air go to the end of your misting line your na last nozzle take this end plug out disconnect your outlet line to your pump take your compressed air blow into the end of this tubing Till all the water blows out of this end when you stop seeing water come out and only air you can put this plug back in you're done with your misting line 
then you will come inside of the pump remove this line here on the top you'll take your compressed air blow into this tube here and while you're doing that watch your outlet fitting on the front of your pump when there's no more water coming out and it's all air then your pump is also winterized hook this back up pushing it in till it stops unplug your pump and you're winterized we're gonna be telling you how to dewinterize your 1500 psi misting pump this will include uh, the half gpm the 1 gpm and the 2 gpm for starters you'll take your feed line screw this in back to your spigot this other end here will go into your inlet fitting on your pump just push it in till it won't push any farther the outlet on your filter it will go into your inlet but don't push it in yet you'll want to turn your water on and fill that filter up just turn it on until you see a solid stream of water and no more air coming out then you can hook that back up to your inlet fitting on your pump turn your water on plug your pump into your receptacle turn your pump on watch your outlet fitting when you see solid water and no more air you can turn your pump off plug your misting line back into your pump go to the end of your misting line your last nozzle remove your end plug Turn your pump back on, watch the end of the line till there's solid water and no more air. Turn your pump off, install your end plug back in, pushed in all the way. Turn your pump on and you're ready to go.